Welcome back. As we continue to celebrate Black History Month, I'm here this morning with Genovian Williams, and he runs Williams Food Service out of Charleston. Good morning. How are we doing? Good morning. I'm well. How are you? I am so good, and I'm so happy that you are here because this all smells amazing and it looks amazing. So let's talk about your business. What is it? Um, so Williams Food Services actually is, you know, a combination of a few different things. Mm -hmm. It provides, you know, private dining for, um, you know, more of an intimate setting, at, like you know we do catering at your home you mm -hmm. know if you wanted to do a private caterer or we provide event planning oh, wow. you know where we do the entire weddings and you know birthday parties mm -hmm. sometimes corporate parties things of that nature but yeah it's a mixture of a few different things that is really cool and so how did you get started into this business um the business part of it um i kind of was forced into it um, <laughs> <laughs> i never well i saw myself doing it later on down the line mm -hmm. just not as young um I would say I started immediately after I completed culinary school. I always grew up cooking with my grandmother and my mother. You know, my grandmother had 11 kids, so, oh, you know, wow. big family. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I grew up cooking with them, you know, um, so, yeah, I just kind of stuck with it and grew with it. There was a love for it, and you yeah. continued to build that love. Sure. And so you had said <laughs> that you went to culinary school. I could mm -hmm. imagine that uh, that also helped increase your knowledge of the food industry and cooking. So what do you, do you kind of excel in all of the things, or do you kind of cater to just, you know, certain so types? I, I wouldn't say I excel in all mm -hmm. things, but I do have a certain knowledge in all things. Yeah. Um, I would say my expertise is, you know, traditional soul food because that's, you know, what I grew up on. Um, but I am gaining more knowledge in things. Like right now I'm taking an Italian course. Oh, wow. You know, so I'm learning more about, you know, the Italian pastas and their way of doing things versus the American modernized way of doing it. That is awesome. I feel like that's just a nice way to give people a taste of different things that maybe they're not used to here. So that is super cool. And so how can people find out more information about you and get a hold of you to have you join them? Um, so I'm on all social sites at Williams Food Services or Chef Novi or <laughs> those of you who know me, Genovian. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm pretty easy to um, get in contact with. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty, you know, much everywhere. So so, you know, people always seem to find me. <laughs> yeah, and so let's talk a little bit about what we have in front of us today. What is all of this? So I actually decided to bring you the meals that, you know, kind of mean a little something to me. So uh -huh. this is our chicken alfredo. Mm. And so this chicken alfredo was actually what I used as my final meal during my culinary days. And so I got a 119 out of 120 on my final exam. So I was... Wow. The pasta is kind of a love for me. <laughs> <laughs> the salad kind of came from... Um, I was actually fired from a job, my first professional job as a chef. I was let go for putting eggs in a salad. We didn't have a protein. <laughs> we did not have a protein, so I was like, I'm going to use eggs. Yeah. And I was let go from the facility for putting eggs in the salad. I think it was a little something else, but we're not going to get into that. But uh, that's uh, what <laughs> grew. You know, everybody wanted those yes. salads. Mm -hmm. and. That's one of my main items. That actually is the item that I first put on the menu was the salads. And now they're referred to as the Big Mac salad. So <laughs> I love that. I feel like eggs, hard boiled eggs are delicious on a salad. That's insane. That, I don't understand. I don't understand those people. And so then we also have a camera here. Why do we have a camera here? So we provide free um, photography during our events if you book us for catering. Oh um, my gosh. And I also just do a little bit of free photography throughout the communities. Um, of course, I have some paid gigs as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, I do. I dabble in photography as well. And. We also have a nonprofit, a 501, what is it, C3 or 3C? Whichever Some, one. Yeah. <laughs> what is the nonprofit? Yeah, it's actually called the Genovian Williams Foundation. It's, you know, just tailored to me um, and my life. We work with children that struggle within different communities, um, you know, that are just trying to reach a better life, which wow. in whatever aspect. Wow, that is beautiful. It seems like you were just doing a little bit of everything, and I absolutely love that. Before we go to break, a quick question I have for you is celebrating black history. We're doing that this month, but it's to be something that we celebrate all year round. So in your eyes, how can we do that? Um, just by lifting one another up. Mm -hmm. um, black history is, you know, everyday history. You know, mm -hmm. we're always doing something new. We're always creating a different avenue, a different venture, you know, so it's just about uplifting one another and celebrating one another while we're, you know, doing that. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for joining us on The Breakfast Show, too. This all looks amazing. You guys definitely need to go find, what is it, the Williams Food Williams Service? Food Services or Chef Novi. Wonderful. N -O -V -I. Awesome. Go check them out on social media because, like I said, this smells good, looks good. I can imagine it tastes incredible. So definitely go and find him on social media. We'll be back in just a bit. Good deal.